we'll look at creating an ornament using acrylic, most importantly the laser foil which gives it a spark of color and added interest. So let's look at the design first. We will have two different types of vector cutting. First of all we need to cut the acrylic which will be cutting the star out of the sheet and also the circle here which will hold the ribbon that hangs the ornament on the tree. That will be cut with my 50 watt laser with a 15 speed and a 100 power. Then you'll notice the inner star and that's where the laser foil will go. The inner star will be cut with a speed of 6 and a power of 20. And looking back at the acrylic again, I didn't keep the foil on the very inside, I kept it as an outline. So we'll go ahead and get started. I have cut the star out of the sheet of acrylic and also the circle where the ribbon will go. Now the foil needs to be applied and in this method I can lay out my green foil and I can lay the star right on the foil so I can see exactly what size I need. In most conventions you will measure the area of foil you need, cut the foil out and then apply it. So here you can see that the laser foil is easily cut and this looks like real foil but it's actually a plastic but it does again look and act like foil so it can become creased like aluminum foil and once the crease is in it doesn't come out so just be careful when working with it you try to not crease it additionally it has a sticky underside and so it can stick to itself so just be careful so I'm going to remove the foil from the backing application I'm actually going to lay the foil down and I'm going to apply the star on top of it. I'll press it down and then the star will go back into the acrylic sheet that's still in the bed in the place where it was cut out. So I'm going to cut the foil and I'll be right back. star back into its position in the acrylic sheet and this inner vector cut line was done with the foil settings again of 6 speed 20 power. But the problem I had was that the foil went over the entire thing and then I couldn't get my star back out so I had to go back over the exterior line this time using the foil settings again. So my star comes out And again, I just want the foil on the outside, so I will take the inside And now I have the foil just on the outside. I will put it back in the laser bed to uh, raster the text that I want in the middle. But I will put a piece of paper mask on it to protect the acrylic from the engraving process. So I'll get my mask. I just need a small piece of it. I will raster engrave it and show you the results. Okay, so we're back and the star has been raster engraved and the masking has been removed. Now all we need to do is to add the string and add, a, and add an ornament that has a nice pop of color to it. Now again, this is the vector method as in we vectored the acrylic and the laser foil and then peeled away the excess laser foil that we didn't want. Here is another example of vectoring laser foil and removing the excess. Thank you for watching another way to use laser foil.